Okay. Finally. Quarter wave Dave is on the air. <laughs> I just use a stream now and go boom. So you just leave it. So just leave the YouTube side YouTube side of it as is and just start the stream and stop the stream on the OBS side each time. Yay. Okay, well, whatever. I'll figure it out. Let's get some trunk recording going. Trunk recording going. Yeah. Ubuntu server is in the drive. Show me details, baby. I don't want desktop. I want server. Where is this file at? Want. That's what I want. Let's get this ISO loaded. 18.04 live server. What is a live server? I don't know. Ubuntu is a bunch of nutcases, aren't they? <clears throat> wonder if I can tie my Slack in. I wonder if I can tie the Slack chat into the live stream. That would be cool. Uh, it's asking me to do something. Okay, just taking a minute. I've been sitting at this computer all day, and then as soon as you, I was ready to walk away from this piece of shit. And I'll, I'll, as soon as I hear you guys say, "Oh, the audio quality is excellent," I'm like, "Oh." Now I gotta set this thing up. <laughs> uh, 192.168.88.146. Audio is pretty. Audio is pretty good. Is it? Is it? You think the audio is good? Oh, the audio is good. Yeah, audio is pretty good from what I heard. I went to the Open Megahertz site, and I'm assuming all Open Megahertz come from the same. Uh, trunk recorder and they all sound fabulous i like the way it presents everything so yeah here we're gonna play this for everyone at home we're gonna play this for you guys at home so you can hear it let me unmute my uh desktop audio yeah you should hear this radio service testing one two three three two one one two three radio service testing radio service testing one two three Three, two, one. One, two, three. Radio service testing. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Even to hear Fred's voice, man, it's just it's so sexy. I hear I hear him. It just gives me goosebumps. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got another one here. Here, you guys want to hear this one too? Let's play this one. City Engine 31, Truck 15, Engine 61, Squad 1, Squad 2, and the Battalion responding for a structure fire at Blair and Bagley. Blair and Bagley, we have a passerby reporting a house on fire. I mean, that sounds... I mean, it sounds better than my Apex radio almost, I gotta admit. <laughs> but like you said, that's that's on... Um, that's on a... Um, that's not an LSM site, is it? So we're going to have to set this up on simulcast and see what is going on. All right. My name is David. My server name is Trunk Recorder 01. 01, because we may have... It's on Holly. Is Holly simulcast? I don't think it is. David. P -A -I -L 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 -L. ASR. I don't know what ASR means, but yeah, it's single site, so that's not LSM. Yeah. Install open SSH server. When did it, when did Ubuntu go to this nice kind of install in the background while you do options and uh, I don't know. The whole thing is kind of 
It looks nice. It looks nice. This stuff, I don't know about none of this. This is all baloney. Cloud crap can go right to the toilet. I don't want any of that. Oh, the last the last point update. Okay. Yeah. So so I threw I threw some resources at this thing. I don't know how much it's gonna consume. But we'll be running with 16 gigs of RAM and 16 cores of CPU. I think that should be enough, right? <laughs> uh, you know, I, the virtual machine, the virtual box, I get pretty close near native performance with this thing. I would, I think. Um, so this should be, this should work pretty well, I think. <clears throat> 16 candles, that's right. Could crank it up. I could go up to 32. Uh, I think we have enough memory too. USB, that, well, so the Air Spy, I, I think I can cover all this. Can I hit it all with one Air Spy? Is 10 megahertz enough to hit, get all of uh, Macomb County? I don't know. Let's take a look at radio reference. Well, we do not live in, we don't want to live in Wisconsin. We're going to look at Macomb. We could have just clicked anywhere. So let's see, site 23. Where is it? Macomb County Signal Class. So they're going from 851 to 853. Dude, I could do that with like two RTL sticks or maybe even one RTL stick. 851 to 850. So that's four, like four megahertz. Come on. Yeah. More than enough. I don't know. Fred, are you running, running two to... Uh... Proof of concept, or do you actually are you monitoring multiple sites or multiple towers or multiple systems there? I'd, I'd imagine. But yeah, it looks like I'll be able to get by with one, one, one air spy or two, two. Depending how it decodes, I could put two crappy RTLs on here. Save the air spy for some something else. Oh, seven hundreds. Yeah. So have we figured out seven hundred? Hmm. Interesting. Why does Holly have seven hundred? Are they like running out of frequencies? Yeah, 769 and 770. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this 700 stuff. I don't know. You guys want to set up a 7 tack repeater? Detroit Detroit Simulcast is the same thing. 851 to 853. So I need like four. I could do Macomb and Detroit with one air spy. I have to run two since Holly has two. So one's on 800, one's on 700 from the DTE add-on. Oh, is, is that what, what causes all this uh, 700 is the DTE? I don't even know why we have DTE on our site. On our system, they can go bite it. They can bite it. Okay. Trunk recorder is done. We're going to reboot this bad boy. Reboot. I'm going to share this chat to my buddies. <laughs> Quarter wave Dave. QuarterWaveDave.com. MPSCSC got a waiver from the FCC to allow DT's non public safety use on a 700 megahertz channels. Oh. DT's non public safety use of the 700. Does that mean DT is only on 700? I don't. I don't get that. Seems that the original system. I don't know. Do the XTS 5000s and 2500s have 700? I don't think those do 700. At least I know the, the Quantars don't. Remove the installation medium press center. Okay. 
I literally just did this like a few hours ago for a separate project, and now I'm just like. Mm. Okay, thanks for it. XTS, so you don't have to worry about rebanding or bands or 700 with uh, with your XTSs. Quantars won't do it, I know that, but your subscribers should be fine. Oh, I got my GTR. I, so I ordered a GTR for the blue trailer. The, it got turned down. The price came out to be like $25,000, dude. <laughs> They're like, we could buy a whole new trailer for that much. I'm like, all right, I'll just use the Quantar. But I convinced them to get two, two SLR repeaters, UHF, two sets of cans for UHF, and two sets of cans for 800. So... So we're going to have a lot of good stuff going on in UHF on that trailer. If you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm building a whole trailer for the for the city with emergency communications equipment on it. All right, we're logged in. Let's do our normal uh, Let's do our normal updates. Wow, this there's like normal messaging being poured onto my console here. Is this thing not done booting or something? Oh, you know what? I probably doesn't have an IP address. Yeah, twenty-five thousand. Can you believe that? The, the, the real price is probably like ten thousand, but Motorola, you know how they are. Oh uh, yeah, so I can't get online because this internet's being blocked. I have to unblock it real quick. It's gonna be Ubuntu. No, yeah, Ubuntu VM. I can't even type. It's all right. Yeah, I see that. My um, my uh, um, my router will block new IPs, so I had to unblock it real quick. Do we even have an IP? It always seems like it takes a long time that first time to app to do an app get update. Eighteen megs, good. App get upgrade. Wow, so it was a little bit out of date. Those ISOs tend to do that. I'm gonna go hoodie. Should I go hoodie? No. Might be blocking it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the sound of this uh, trunk recorder. I'm assuming you can have a default to record all traffic. That would be nice. I'm assuming you have a feature that you can put encryption keys on it, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Is this a GitHub deal? No packages? No dead packages? Uh, yeah, we have packages. All right. This might be too easy. I'm so done of building shit from source and Git and all that stuff. Please. Please. What is our IP on this thing? 192.168.88.146. We're going to save this. We're going to set up open SSH. I think that it might already be open. You don't let me in. Is there a pop up somewhere like last time? There it is. Open SSH. First thing I do with these stupid Ubuntu servers is minimize them. <laughs> no, I uh, I can't stand this stupid pseudo crap. <sighs> so I just do a pseudo su. Done with that. You know what I'm talking about? 
You know what I'm talking about? So let's just copy and paste this crap, eh? Copy and paste, and we'll see. Okay, we added the repository update, upgrade, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I need GNU Radio. Why do we need GNU Radio? GNU Radio may be installed by manually compiling from scores. No. Pi bombs. I'm not doing Pi bombs. It's almost as bad as compiling from score source. Or using the app to install from the Ubuntu package repository. Well, that's you gotta be an idiot if you don't use that. Or have some really good reason not to. Yep, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, Freddio. Screw that source crap. I mean, I, I like writing code and I like compiling source, but if it works with a pa binary package, why not, you know? So that, that's going to take a minute. 27%. I'm going to stop and grab a thing of water. I'll be right back. All right, Randy, have a good one there. So I bought some, um, I don't know if you can see this, Smarter Caffeine Pills on Amazon. <laughs> I didn't take them yet. I'm saving them for tomorrow when I have that stupid presentation. 200 milligrams of caffeine. We'll see. Yeah, that's a lot of packages this thing needs. I wonder if we can pipe some music in. Well, I don't want to get hit with a copyright violation, right? Install tools to compile trunk recorder. Then proceed to build trunk recorder. So it sounds like I have to build it what was this repository oh this is just a generic ubuntu bionic am i not on probably didn't even need to do that i'm gonna check here in a second i thought i you know i didn't even read this i thought this was like a, a third party repository this is just a normal ubuntu repository so looks like we do have to build something Yeah. All right, it's a C make. Looks like it. <laughs> I followed the, all the instruction and it compiled. Okay, good. Thank you for uh, testing this out for me there, Fred. I'm so done with compiling stuff today. All this crap. All this crap. I wonder if I can create another channel in slack and pipe all the text into my obs hmm that might be cool that might be cool that might be cool let's see obs slack plugin slack slack Blah, blah, blah. 
OBS chat. Discord, I do have Discord. I I feel I have mixed feelings about Discord. One, it's a bunch of gamer geeks on there. Um there's nothing wrong with gamer geeks, but holy shit, these guys are NFL. Um their terms of their their pro so anything you do on Discord is there's there's zero privacy at all. Now I know we're just streaming, so I guess you know who cares? It's not private anyway, right? So maybe 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 it doesn't matter. But if if you try to run a private Discord channel or something, it's there's no privacy. Everything you do is public with not not public, but their company. Makes no claim to privacy or anything like that. But yeah, I know. I'm doing a public YouTube stream. Sorry. Public chat. Who cares? All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Fred. Long day. <clears throat> you know, actually, it, doesn't it feel like at 11 p.m.? It's 7.30. Ridiculous. Well, I got another, um, another guy to invite here. So I just got invited to the Michigan Patriot Unified Radio Network, um, SimplexNet, and it's happening in two minutes. Oh, it's probably already over because that was 720. Ah, don't care about that. Uh, what are we doing here? Um, losing focus. Come back to this. Chat in a second. All right, so we installed the tools to compile trunk recorder. Why didn't we just run one apt get command? Why why would you even separate them? I don't I don't understand people that write write this stuff sometimes. And let me see. Let me see my sources. Oh, see, I never yeah, my sources is there's a lot of stuff in here. I've added this bionic universe, and I don't see. And I know it's hard for you guys at home to see, so I'm going to change the settings here. I feel like I already had like I, I I'm running bionic, so there's no no reason to add bionic unless I'm adding this re, this specific. Um, universe repository usually i always run main contrib and non-free i'm not even sure what universe is that might be some new ubuntu crap whatever let's continue let's continue here's my instructions proceed to building trunk recorder okay building trunk recorder make sure you have installed the required prerequisites blah 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 uh, no separate build or installation is required if you're using the Docker install. So I don't know anything about Docker, but uh, it sounds pretty cool. All right, let's go to my home directory. This is root. Not supposed to use root, supposed to use sudo. I say F U. That's how I feel about it. Although, listen, this isn't my company server, so <laughs> home stuff, it's fine. If you want to play it safe, go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, <clears throat> use your sudo there. All right, so we're going to do a cmake dot dot backslash. This, these are weird cmake instructions. cmake dot dot backslash. Usually it's just dot dot backslash, but they're just telling me to put another. They have a weird folder structure here. Fred says he runs. I didn't use it this time. So it sounds like Fred does do work with Docker. So that's pretty cool. I'll have to check that out one of these days. See, make is good. Let's do a make dash J. What is it? N prox. 
speed it up a little bit. Uh, dollar sign. What am I doing wrong here? Let me Google something real quick. Normal make probably would have been done by now. Uh, so make dash J. So make dash J. Make will just make the source code, but I think it only does it with one one CPU core. But if I do a make tech J dollar sign and proc. Uh, that should spread out evenly to all my cores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that? You like that, baby? Look how fast that bad boy's going. Yeah. How's that look? Let me move that so you can see it. So we got some C++ warnings. Or those C warnings. Uh, it might be okay. As long as you don't get any errors, we'll be all right. 100%. Took less than a minute. We'll do a make install. All right. We are installed. Now what do we do? <laughs> uh, If all goes well, so it says, if all goes well, you should see build target recorder. And we have build target recorder, 100%. And have the recorder executor in the trunk build directory. Recorder, which recorder? They couldn't come up with a, a better unique name than recorder for their binaries? Come on, man. Well, I just did a make install and it's not in the path. It's right here. What did make install do? Make install just installed some source files. Apparently this doesn't have a make install. I just run this binary where it is and have to move it myself manually. Manually. Okay, it's looking for configuration, Jason. All right, we're gonna dig into this. Digging this config file mumbo jumbo. Oh, it looks like we have someone donate one to us. Very nice. Uh, let's let's get let's put this somewhere neat, neat and clean. So we're gonna do a make dir user local bin already exists. So we're gonna move this recorder to user local bin. All right. So now if you do a which recorder. Yeah, so now we can, now this should be in the path. Um, we're going to make a user local Etsy, right? It already exists. I and mean, that's where we're going to put our config file. So we're going to vi slash user local Etsy. What do they want to call this thing? Hi, Jeff. <sighs> Uh, config.json, but we're going to call it something a little better. We're going to call it recorder. Dot recorder. Recorder.config.json. All right. We're going to insert here. Center, right here, scroll, no, 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 no. So it looks like I'm going to remove some of this because I only have one air spy. This is risky. Don't need this one there. I like VIM. And look at I didn't even have to install VIM total to have the nice colors and stuff. Systems control channel. So so we don't specify sites we just specify systems what if we want to monitor more than one tower one site at one time hmm 
Well, so in that case, I'm going to call this PSCSC comb. Okay. Record unknown. I'm going to set that to true because I have a two terabyte virtual disk. <laughs> uh, let's see what we're doing for control. Sergeant Bush is going to poop his pants if this works as good as it sounds like it's going to work. I tried, um, the last time I showed him my little setup, I showed him the SDR trunk. While it was a cool interface, the audio was never quite there. And I think you guys all know that and agree on that. Um, just trying to invite my buddies here to the the show to the show yeah all right so we have our control channel set up no we don't so let's go I'll show you what I'm doing I'm on this crap website radioreference.com And I'm going to search for Macomb County Simul. I'm just going to search for Macomb County. I'm not even on the right page here. Macomb County Simulcast. So the current active control, I should know this, 853.9875. 853.9875. E fifty three nine seven five megahertz, not kilohertz. So is that right? Eight five three nine eight seven five zero zero. Rate you running a you running a um. Okay, Fred's got it on the correction. Nickname should be MPSCSC. So you try to fix, make something nice, and you don't know what you're doing to screw it all up. Okay, I still don't like if there's no, if there's no object called site. How am I going to do multiple sites? I guess we're going to figure it out. Okay. Uh, gain 14, file name gain. Gain looks okay, I guess. The only thing I'm wondering is why, why are you running at six megs, Freddio? Let's run at 10. Center frequency. Let's, let's calculate the actual center frequency, okay? So, ooh, we got a video call. All right, <laughs> what's up? Hello, hello, test one, two. You got me there, Fredo? I can hear you, I can hear you breathing. Okay. I wonder if I can pipe this in, let's see. I can hear you, I'm gonna pipe it in, let's see. Uh, How do I, so the audio is going through to my headset. Hold on guys, we're gonna change audio routing here for one second. Uh, Slack, how do I change audio device on this? Okay, yeah, I see it, drop down. So we're gonna put it on we am I going to put it on? Communications headset. Uh, 
No, well, no, I didn't. I just see you with your uh, Maritech hat. <laughs> uh... Okay, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 that's good Woo. all right yeah all right let's see you see me i'm trying to i'm trying There we go. No, so the audio is coming out of the speakers. Yep, that just keyed it. Hmm. <laughs> Let me see if I can add an audio capture All device right, here. So I lost your audio, by the way. Uh oh. Uh. Hold on, hold on. How about now? You got yeah, any... no, Okay, great. So I wonder if I have to mute you. You're coming out my you're coming out my speakers on my monitor. Wherever you tell the Slack to send its audio out. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to get in that get that into OBS. You should, oh, uh, wherever you're in OBS, you can tell it. Um, just talk audio member or sources and you can pick different ones. So like on mine, I have like my headphones is an out a desktop recording source. Oh, now I can hear myself coming out of the other room. Yeah. So you must have figured it out. I think I got it. I think I got it. That means let me go to the other room and turn the audio off on that. I think I got it. I mean, yeah. It's still... I need to be able to hear you on my headset. Oh. Yeah, so you just put my, you know, put my audio to your headset. There we go. Oh, desktop audio. Okay, I see. I'm tell that to come from. Yep. See so yeah, you can pick. Now I went to the other room so I could actually see what you're doing. There you go. There you go. So, so now you're not backfeeding into my microphone, and I can still hear you. And if I say hello, one, two, three. And if I say hello, one, two, three. There you go. And I heard it just come out the stream. Woo it's almost like we know what we're doing. <laughs> well, I'll fire up my OBS. Oh, you got one too? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for anyone that's uh, watching that, I'm talking to. I'm talking I'll put to a shirt up. Yeah, you might want to put some clothes on there. Or just, or at least just don't stand up, right? Well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, I put a shirt on. Go back to the other room. Uh, let me grab a handheld. And I need my phone. So I was trying to figure out my exact center frequency. So it's going to be. I mean, did you really? I mean, well, yeah, you've got what six megahertz? You said. Uh, between the channels. I think it's four. So yeah, just pick the middle yeah. of the four. Fifty one zero six two five zero. So that's. Almost three megs wide. So our center frequency is going to be 856.9125. No, that's not right. All right. Let's find this by two. Okay. There Grab me a glass of tea. Oh. 852.525 is going to be my perfect center frequency from a cone. Now I haven't tried this on simuls, so that's this will be. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what I want to see. Hopefully it's good. Hey, you weren't far off. You were eight fifty two, and it's eight fifty two dot five two five. Eight fifty two five two five zero 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 dot zero. 
All right, let's fire up my OBS profile for my Stream Deck. Got a Stream Deck? Is that the little thing with the buttons on it? <laughs> yeah, I got the. It's like two, four, five by three buttons. So I have the sixteen button. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. A couple hundred bucks or something like that. I think it was 150, 160. I almost bought one. I'm like, I don't know if I want to be that serious about this, but maybe I should. <laughs> um, maybe because I have like a blackout. Where's my? Okay, is that working? No, I'm not in the right OBS profile. Hold on. It's nice that I can like, if I want to mute my screen or something. Right. I mean, at least even like changing scenes. Like I can go full screen Dave, or I can go desktop Dave, or I can go. Oh yeah. Yeah, just by hitting a button instead of having to. Open up the OBS window and kind of navigate that. I keep that over on my second. Oh, wait, collection for a wind link. Uh, that's not right. Stream deck. Stream deck. Live desk. Oh, oh this whole thing's all screwed up now. So I'm going to proceed with running trunk recorder. Running trunk recorder. Okay. Recorder, tech, tech, config. That's all there is to it, huh? So, let's, let's, uh, where does it save all its files and stuff, though? I didn't see that in the config file. So, in the, um, oops, black monitor one. Why didn't it select monitor one? Monitor one only. There we go. And then we should have a scene called monitor one. I have to find antenna. I have to find antenna and I have to plug in my SDR. Hmm. <laughs> Does anyone have an 800 antenna? <laughs> I have like boxes of them. Over here, let's see. I think this is 800. Motorola 800. Oh, we just need a SMA adapter. Oh. Let me log into my YouTube and see what the default profile is. Studio. Videos, other features, live stream. We have an air spy, we have an antenna. I'm going to try and screw in. Okay, if I hit, oh wait, I don't hear you. That's because I need to switch this. Microphone test one, two. Oh, it's going to the wrong mic. I don't want the rig blaster. We'll do my Jabber Pro. Test one, there's my level. And then you're this coming in on this input. Test one, two. Can you hear me, Freddie-o? Yeah, I can still hear you, but I'm just making sure. Speaker test one, two. All right, now you talk. Test one, two, one, two, one, two. Hey, look at that. Two oh, audio channels. Right. Now we hit start <laughs> streaming. I'm gonna pull you up. I'm gonna pull you up here. And I should be able to go boom, 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 boom. Ooh, that one doesn't look right. Why doesn't that look right? There we go. What is this picture on your on your page here with these boats and this big thing? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what it is? What why is it no, there? No, I don't know. What, did someone hack your get, YouTube it, account or something? No, no. I think it was from the default, like, because I was part oh. of a beta on it. And I think it needed a file, and they just put it there. Like, what is that even supposed to be? Like a pile of know. cement or something? I don't know. I haven't just gone in and changed it yet. I mean, my profile icon is, you know, me. Yeah. All right. You should see me now, looking at you, looking at me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. We're, we're, oh, we got infinite loop going now. <laughs> <laughs> well you can mute the audio <laughs> i did i did i did i didn't want to blow it up <laughs> all right let's do this oh wrong button i need the current url <laughs> yeah there's a bit of a delay maybe less than a minute though 
because I'm doing 1080 at 60 frames a second, I think. Oh, I'm not. I didn't. I didn't mess with any 60 frames. And for some reason, it puts you there. Hold on, my channel. Live from my desk. Copy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Post. Go back over here to Slack. Oh boy. <laughs> here we and go, Slack. Fredo. <laughs> oh, oh, we start that. recording. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's put this in another window so it's not up so that's gonna go over here that's gonna go there it's only a monday night today's monday i took the day off so this is like Sunday that's why i wondered what you were doing online yeah i took the whole day off oh okay yeah see now it's getting all encrypted all right, so it says encrypted, encrypted, talk group, not in talk group file, which is fine because that's not in my file. So let's just go duplicate session. Hmm. I don't think I'm locking the control channel here. I don't know if. So you, did it say, oh, wait, I don't have your screen up. I got to look at your screen. It'll come up and, well, here, here's what mine. Watch when I start mine up. Uh, hold on. Where's your window? Let me know when you're ready. I'll start hold it. <laughs> hold on. I'm going to go back to YouTube. Uh, there. No, that's my window. Hold on. Okay, I got you. All right. So let me start recorder. And then it comes up and it'll actually say, so, you know, show each individual source. And then when it locks on, it'll actually say right here, decoding system ID with the, yeah, got the, you know, the whack and, and the knack and the whack. So that's what it, when you first start up. Well, that's 220. We'll turn that down. No, I, did, I didn't make a talk group file or anything like that. So, but it should still it lock, should, right? It should still mm, just make a blank text file or a blank CSV file. Just or put, you know, one talk group in it, like this, you know, semen com or something and it just puts, there's one line in there yeah, yeah, yeah. so that it doesn't error on that file. Okay, let's try that. All right, I'm gonna open you up over on this monitor. Actually, I'm gonna put you on the upstairs monitor. Here I'll copy my uh, I'll copy the what just a line out of my it's uh, a USB problem. Like it doesn't say anything about detecting unless I it flew by too fast. Wait, did you because you, you're using uh, AirSpy? Yeah, Air but did you pass the USB yeah, across? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. but in D message. Oh, did you do uh, oh, what is it? You, yeah. I didn't install the AirSpy driver. AirSpy, AirSpy driver, so that's suitable. It's app git yeah. install AirSpy, sorry, and then reboot. Reboot! Well, I mean, I always do. Because <laughs> it's going to link, because yeah. I had multiple, I've got multiple AirSpy, so it linked. Um, let me send this to you in Slack. Uh, I'm just going to get. That's one line in my CSV file, so put that in what I just Slacked you. Gotcha. And where does this, where does this CSV? Does that, and that has to be, where does that CSV reside? I put, so in the trunk dash recorder, which is where I put my recorder, you know, bin file, I just put that right there. So my config.json, my talk groups.csv and the recorder are all right in the trunk dash recorder folder. Because what's going to happen is when it starts decoding, 
it's going to make a folder for that short name, which you did. I, you saw that I told you you need to change yeah. your short name. Yeah. yeah, I did. So it makes a folder inside there with the short name, and then it does 2019. It does it by day, so 20, month day. So it goes 2019, right, and then good. the next folders. Okay. Yeah, so if I look in my MPSCS, you know, CSV, that's a nice format. It's easy to work with. Seaman com. Okay, we got that in there. Let's get these uh, drivers installed. App get install. App cache search air spy. So I got air spy. Yeah, is that easy? Is it that easy? That was on Ubuntu. It can't be that easy. It was on Ubuntu. Mm, Ubuntu is too easy. I, know. Easy. I like it hard and difficult. I like to pull my hair out all week and <laughs> compiling shit from scratch for it to just hey. not work. No, for that. <laughs> well, so I was if I didn't get the compiles to work right, I was going to yeah. do the Docker anyways. Yeah. But I was like, because uh, I want to do. I think it's going to be. It's neat that the push it to open the Open MX project that he has there. But um, my goal at first is the to, to do the paging. And then send the emails for that. Okay. All right. Let's open your stream up over on this computer so that I can see it full screen on the other monitor. Driver Osmo. So it's using the Osmo SDR driver. That's, yep. That's what we set in the config. Built in source types. Got Air Spy. Settings. So it looks like it's actually setting the sample rate and all that stuff. And then because I had I have multiples, so I had yeah. to. Okay, why is this not? Uh, radio. Oh wait, I have copied the wrong. I'm gonna copy the right it. link. Let's reboot her. Let's reboot her. Boot her. Reboot the computer. Oh, I'm looking at your stream from. <laughs> I'm like in the matrix now, dude. I'm not even sure what uh how many streams do you have going? I copy just... yeah, okay. I, co is... I copied the wrong one. Oh, now let's try this one. Does this one say you're live? Hey, this one says you're live. Okay. <laughs> Full screen. I gotta I gotta I I gotta pull up your stream. Let's see what you're doing. Well I'm VNC'd into the top screen, so that's why I'm like Come on, make it full. Let's change her. <laughs> Watch this now. Give it a second. Watch what happens. <laughs> oh gosh, we're gonna loop. <laughs> we're looping through everything because I have you on the still on the left monitor. Yeah. 720. Is that is that as high as mine goes? A 720? Um, it could just be that compute. Yeah, you're only on 720. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we're looping the matrixes, man. Full screen uh... that one. Okay, oh, and then if I on VNC from there, that puts you on my screen above me. Like I can't even comprehend what's going on right now. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Oh shit! All right. So I think I'm rebooted now. Let's take a look. Yeah, we should be. Party this bad boy. Yeah, because if you go into dev and do an LS, I see you know Air Spy one, Air Spy two up there now in my dev folder. Air Spy is still attached after a reboot. I guess I've never passed it through a a virtual box VM like that before. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, see, I'm gonna pass it through my virtual VM. Yeah, see, yeah, see. City copper don't know about VM pass now. <laughs> oh, what's I'm getting text messages? Let's see. The oh. Speaking of food, what's for dinner? Question mark. Ding. All right. Recorder. Tech tech config. 
I'm watching your screen. Hey, it sees it. And okay, so um, that message right there, I get, I get when it doesn't get onto the control channel right. Mm -hmm. And I had to flip my modulation. I was on CPQSK at oh, first. Oh, I never, I didn't even see that. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, there's only two you can be on. Um, I had to switch mine to FSK4. So I need to be CQPSK. Try, try CQPSK. I didn't, why did I not even, I saw that, I didn't even think. Hello, VM. CQPSK. You gotta do, oh, you only have one, never mind. Yeah. Error, there's only one control channel to find. Which is fine. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's still not decoding. Was there a reason why you had your sample rate at six? Because I have an Air Spy Mini. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's, that's... And I have my game, you know, the game settings and all that stuff are different. That could let's, be different for you too. Let's make sure that this thing actually works. Let's make sure this little air spy. Because I think yeah. I, I think my SMA connector is blown out or something. Oh yeah, I think it works. Yeah, but what settings do you need to have for your gain and all that? Yeah, let's see. Oh my god, look at these signals, dude. They're like off the scale. Yeah, so you gotta check your set your gains and all that, because that could be it as well too. Neg neg thirty. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you live next door to a tower. Oh, sure. So, yeah, I got <laughs> yeah, I think I was at four. I think mine was at fourteen. Yeah. Because I'm four miles from the site. Is, is this DBs or is this? What what is this measurement? Like there's no I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with ten. Yeah, so go back in and change all yours to ten. I think I have it set mine was foot to fourteen. Air spy attached. Yeah. Ten. Although I don't think that's gonna change anything, we'll see. I think what I'm going to do is set up sync thing to have it synchronize that full to do the email part right now. Mm -hmm. I think I'm good because if I can do email and push to open up megahertz, that'd be kind of cool too. So if I leave his scripts the way they are, synchronize that folder with sync thing to the Windows box and use the existing watcher program I'm using that watches for the file names, you know, mm -hmm. for each talk group paging talk group and then executes the mail script off of that mm -hmm. i think that'll do what i want it to do hmm. the only problem we're going to run i'm going to run into and you're finding this out right now is you're on simulcast so mm -hmm. saginaw is simulcast and a c is a simulcast and if this doesn't work the code right on simul lsm you know I the lsm yeah. i can forget about all that but mm -hmm. although some of it's working off of the not all the paging talk groups for genesee come off the holly site at least I can work it for Genesee, but Ho wants it for Saginaw, and that's, you know, simulcast. I wonder if there's any other settings for simulcast we have to set. I didn't see anything in there. Let's see. Hmm, 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 hmm. Where's the documentation? Installing, setup, configure, setting, configure system. Tuning error. Tuning error. Trunk record needs an amount of tuning error for your. You know, I should hook up my GPS disciplined os oscillator because I think one of my air spies. Is it awful little? 
No, so it's off a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I Mine did... have been, mine are hurts off. I don't even touch them in this. They're usually pretty good, but when you run the calibrate program and you don't know what you're doing and you, you screw it all up, then it doesn't you work. You fart it all up? Yeah. So let me go grab the GPS. You'll get a GPS, and you'll get a GPS. <laughs> That thing, they'll lock it on dead nuts, man. Too many devices. So, I'm going to hook up my G GPS. And hook up the GPS. La GPS. Okay, so I want to pseudo in. I know I'm not a big I'm a nano guy. <sighs> At least when I'm in console, it's just an old habit that doesn't die very what? easily. The pseudo habit? No, the oh. running uh, running uh, b -b 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 nano instead of vim or vi. Oh, uh, you know I what? Know. I know. <laughs> I know. The damn Alt X. I can't get used to that. Man. I'll put one. So we want I'll put one. This is my little uh, GPS discipline oscillator. Oh, now I see your desk. I was like, look, I'm looking at my own screen. I look over at yours now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you even get a yeah external GPS antenna then? Yeah. Well, it's just a, a little it's, puck. It's a puck. It looks like a mag magnet mount, but it's there's no magnet in there, so it's just you set it wherever. And it works fine indoors. These new these antennas nowadays, and the way the radios are, they seem to be pretty good indoors. Uh, and I have to power it with USB, so I have a USB cable for that. Look at that! Sync thing is installed. Who makes that sync thing again? Is that? I should probably black that out for a second. Showing the API keys. All right, regenerate. GUI user use HTTPS. Set the oh, I like the GUI address will be set over there. Enable Natch. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Save. Actions restart. Sync thing is restarting. Oh, so you got little red lights, so it's still lock, waiting to lock then? Yeah, so it flashes while it's trying to acquire a lock, and then once it's solid, I know it's good. Then all you got to do is power cycle the air spy. And uh, I think the air spy, like, it only catches that. It only looks for the GPS, like, once it turns on or something. But once it's once it boots up, it should be good. All right, let's log into this one. We have a lock. We have a lock. Let's uh, detach this. Let's do it cleanly. Detach yeah, from the VM. Device name. Device name. Power down. Josh Hole. Power back up. Okay, so we should have a good frequency lock now. All right, screen's back on. <clears throat> oh, gotta go back to my desktop. There we go. Hmm. 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 Add device, save. Okay, so that just added it. Now, let's grab that folder. I feel like there's still something else wrong. I'm gonna install another piece of software just to make sure that this SDR is working inside the VM. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Let's call this T201 uh, TR. 
we'll send it to this hole. And now I need to make a folder for that on this hole. Das hole. Das hole. I have the hole and das hole. <laughs> das hole. What about Lee hole? I don't have Lee hole, although I'm working on thinking of make, making a third sand. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I might, uh, might actually end up doing that. File. Let's move that over to there. All right. Uh, that's going to go into scanner archives current. Yeah. I think my AirSpy is just fine. I can connect it with another program and stream samples. Hmm. And it sounds decent. So make sure you get the setting, mm. the levels right in there. Yeah. And then try flipping back between, you know, CQ, PS, well. No, I know. I mean, unless he's got a bug in his software, that's got to be CQSP. Well, so I had to switch mine on the non-simulcast over to the other one. So you're on a non-simulcast system, but you have it set to CQ, PSK? No, I'm on a non-simulcast system, and I have it set to the C4F or whatever. C C4FM is non-simulcast, so that's right. Hold on. Uh, F F FSK four, right? Four level. Yeah, the, uh, whatever yeah. the four level SFK. That's what yeah, I have. That's, set to that's right a now. standard non simulcast P twenty five. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I don't think I need a lot of gain with this. I'm going to try turning this game down even more. Go gain five. Let me double check my control channel just to make sure. Oh yeah, make sure that's the active control channel. You can add other ones in there just to put a comma. I'm gonna put all three then. Alright, so now I wanna add that folder. Oh there's two. I got it. One alternate, one active. 853.9875. So we're going to add 853.26.25. So now if I go scanner current T001, come on, start syncing. System source, min frequency, max frequency. It looks a little different, I'm not sure. Why are they putting this in scientific notation? That's so weird. So it's flipping back between. It's just trying to decode the one and goes to the other. Yeah. Yeah. What was the option? FSK4, was that it? It was. FSK4, I think. It was okay. written different. Weird. It was written in an odd way. Let me see. Oh, I post pasted that in the other window. I think that's what it is. Let's see what it, if it takes it. Oh, oh. Trying to think if there's a. You've only got simulcast systems around you. Well, I do have these other ones. Northville. Uh, Try East, the Northville. East Wayne, but I don't know if I they come in that strong over here. Um. Oh, FSK four is what the modulation I had to put mine in is. Yeah, yeah. Air. What does error mean? Error Isn't correction. Error correction, okay. Center frequency. It's 
So I got center frequency right, multiple sources. That's all he has on this. What else? Scroll uh go back down to the main go to the main page. Yeah. Um of the the repo. Go to the main page in the repo. Uh, Not the wiki. Yeah. And then if you scroll down, it'll show you the options in the config file all the way down. Keep going. Okay. Okay, there they are. You know, it says air spy only, air spy blade only. Antenna, although, yeah, but that's only in the USRP. Ah, there we go. All right, synchronizing that folder. Oh, it's going in UTC. Oh, hey, wait, it just decoded. Oh, that was probably me doing a, <laughs> a kerchunk. <laughs> it's like, huh? Why is there any fun? Oh, I had a it. Game plan, okay, so that's plan. running there. I guess what I can do now. What the heck was it? Oh, crap. You know what? I just, just realized I did. The program that I had set up for doing the Genesee County one already, mm -hmm. mailing and folder, shoulder, shoulder, eh, folder sorting. Mm hmm. Yeah, I installed it. I just rewrote that whole Windows install <laughs> box I was putting up on two server. <laughs> well, I guess you got to fix it now, right? <laughs> I guess I got to do it all from scratch now. Oops. <laughs> I just remembered, I was like, uh... well, let me grab the VNC to that box. Oh, wait, I just did that. Well, I wonder if it's on the other box. Let me check. 25. I wonder if I got the other one on the other audio three box. Modulation is QPSK, not CQPSK. Is that what it is? Oh. QPSK. Try that. Yeah. Oh. Mm -mm. I wonder if we maybe email them and just say, hey, uh, What's up with Simul? Or is there anybody give the bug report in there about Simulcast? Is there a form or anything for those guys? Uh, let's see. What's in his GitHub repo? Let's search for uh, Simulcast. I suppose I could find a non-simulcast one, but I really want this to work. We have a Google Groups. Yeah, but there was only like three or four posts in it when I looked at it. <laughs> two from 2017 and two from 2018. Yeah. They have a Gitter chat room. I don't even know what that is. See, because it says phase two, P25 phase one, phase two, and analog and voice channels because the Phoenix system I was listening to is on uh, phase two. So I was like, well, wait, if you're doing phase two, maybe is there something with OP25 doing simulcast? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Let's ask these guys. Oh, here we go. Monitoring a trunk P25 LSM SAML cast with OP25. Well, that's just a video. I don't want to do that right now. Hey, fellas, anyone have any experience getting trunk recorder working on a simulcast system? I don't know, LS, yeah, LSM simulcast, whatever. Working on a phase one. So some guy in the forums here, it works great for me on simulcast. This is for WAP 25. Oh. When using the default QPSK modulation. Yeah, that's what I said it is. I, I think I think simulcast was I think it was fixed a long time ago. Uh, I mean, Op twenty five has been a long been around a long time. 
Yeah. UPSK modulation, air spy zero. Can you, well, no, you're on a regular, you have a regular air spy, so it'll, you only get 10 megahertz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I can do 10 or two and a half. Those are only two options. Let's try two and a half. I mean, at least then it'll come up and if you can only, if it's not, it'll come up and decode the center or the, Control channel at least it just yeah. won't have if there's I, I not just, enough yeah, space. Yeah, I just want to see if it's sample rate. Like it's not, I can't handle it. Because you're what? on a VM. That's the only thing I'm not sure of. Yeah, that's true. All right, one, two, three. Yeah. And it's too cold for me to drive out to Goodrich to install <laughs> Ubuntu server on Audio Three out there. Oh man. But I can at least watch directories. I think it's installed here on audio three. And if it is, I might be able to, I don't know if it's licensed here though. Yeah, it says that you're on day 200 and <laughs> it's conf the configs in here, but I was, it says you're, it says you're on day 269 of your 30 day evaluation. Oh, Would you like to check? No. Can I export my config though? And install it on another box. Oh, cannot back up because it's watching. Okay, so stop. Stop the postman. File X backup. Yeah, because if I can just back this up, install it on the uh, VM in the server room, and then restore it, then this part of the config is at least done. Right. And I can um, have sync think going, and it'll start working right away. Gotcha. Let's go desktop. Backup was created. So it's just bouncing back and forth between the two control channels. Zero decode. Hmm. Somebody else posted config here. It's having a heck of a time get it working. Did he figure out what it was? Uh. Hmm. This kind of sucks. I want to hear some audio, man. Some nice creamy smooth audio. I got creamy smooth audio. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know. Oh, <laughs> I guess I can flip mine over to uh, record all files right now, and you can it'll start syncing them to the folder. Uh, Here, let me do that on mine. Nano config.json. Record unknown talk group set to true. I wonder if there's, I mean, how, how, how much traffic is on that system? Is it busy? Oh, Holly's really busy. Holly's busy? That's why there's, but here's the thing. Well, let me rephrase that. A lot of, you got enough, there's there's a bit of an encryption now. Yeah. So All it's, right, there it's we gonna go. discard that. It's going to not record that because it's coming up and says not recording. All right, here we go. We're not going to see the stream. Let's see. 2156. So it's going to start doing that. And if I give you this URL, when it's done writing a file, you just hit reload and it'll. Oops. Copy. Where are you, Slack? Where's Dave? Dave's not here, man. Dave's not here, man. Okay, as it records things, it's supposed to put them in that folder there. 
Got it. Well, it, all right. Ooh, ooh, we got a new file. Okay. Hey, so it's a wave. It's not okay. <laughs> Dude, it sounds amazing. It sounds epic. The quality on that. There's no. There's no dropping out or or digital robo or anything, dude. What the hell? And it's using I can see it's using record both recorders, you know, Air Spy Zero and Air Spy One, because that's one thing. It, it's a little slow on the like it'll wait till the whole conversation's done and then it'll do a file. You okay. know, oh, got another file. Oh wow, files are filling. And then there's a JSON for every wave. Right. And it's all in one one folder, or does that have folders for tall groups? Well, so it's all in one folder. So it's you see, what you see right there is the folder. Okay. So it's putting all of these talk groups in that one folder, but they're prefixed with the talk group number. So like yeah. twenty one forty six. Yeah, you can work around that. Ooh, holy crap! There's a whole bunch of files now. Oh man, look at that! There's what, like what is files what is everywhere. what does the JSON file say? Oh wow, look at all that. Well, you can look at it. You got it right there. Yeah, you're right. I'm just watching you. <laughs> Let's see. You're unreadable. I can hear you. I got some creamy, smooth audio. Wow, that's crispy. Crispy. Deep fried. Buttered. This JSON file looks like it has. This is gonna have a file for each each audio file. And I think that's what they push up to. Yeah. You sync R sync in it up to or not R sync or whatever he's using to push it to his open megahertz system. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. And you know, if I was to push it, I would actually add more talk groups. You know, I would actually do the CSV file so that it pushes it alpha. I'm thinking the alpha. Oh, I don't know. Let me look at the JSON file for my yeah. test file. 2183. Yeah, okay. So the only thing inside the JSON file, even though it's a defined talk group in my CSV file, was talk group ID, source radio, time, stamp, which everything in here is GMT. That's something different. Okay. And then the frequency that it, the voice channel that it came over. Of course, now this is filling this folder right up, which I guess, yeah, whatever. Let it fill the folder up for right now. I mean, I know it's record, you know, the issue I had with SDR trunk is it would never record, or if it did, it would record weird files. Why? So it's telling me system source, minimum frequency, maximum frequency. Let's look, it's going from 847 to 857. That's a weird range, isn't it? Yeah. Is that even the right, is that even the right frequency to the eight? Did you say, well, uh, it says it's trying to retune to it, and then... See, now it's not even getting, it's only getting like a de weird decode rate. So like it notices like the decode rate. Did you not have enough? It's nine characters, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's supposed to be nine. 850 megahertz. Try bumping your gain. Oh. Fuck it. Try checking the air. Uh, do you have to define air spy zero? Try just doing air spy. Because you only have one. You did, uh, yeah, there you go. Hmm. No, well, that wasn't it. Mm. You don't have an old beater box laying around? Uh, right, it's the only thing. The only difference I get, The only thing that the, the, I would try differently would be the VM side of things. I know. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna have a fire page. Of course, I'm recording other files. Hold on. <laughs> Let me check. Make sure this thing is set up as USB three. Maybe it's not getting a full bandwidth. In the parking lot at Kroger, 1200 East Bristol, Bristol and Oh, I got. Let's set the USB 2. 
Well, I don't know if you need USB 3 for these things, do you? No, let's pry this off. 22745. So I'm going to wait for that talk group. File 22. Come on, please tell me you sync, you recorded it and synced it even while you're doing all those other ones. Cause that, oh, you did, you sweet bastard, you. <laughs> oh, she sounds so good. <laughs> Uh, she does. She it's sounds like she's, good. It's almost like she's standing right next to you. Man. Is that the same girl? Yeah. Hold on, it's coming. Well, I had the. She says the page twice, and then. Okay. I've got the other. Actually, here. Turn on my. Turn it over on my XGS. Continue all units. Sophie can advise. Twenty forty three. We'll turn the scanner down, and now we'll just have it come out of the eight hundred or out of the XGS. So it recorded. So I have four recording channels on. I had it set to do four record channels on 800 or on the 800 stick, four on the 700. Even though there's only two channels, so I bet you I could probably bump that up. Bump it up all the way, dude. How many channels do you have? <clears throat> recording wise, I mean, and how then many total RF channels do you have? Uh, well, Holly has an 800. Thirteen eight hundred channels. <laughs> well, Woo, and... we got some info. We got some data. Oh, what, 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 what? We got Where? some activity. What uh, did you do? Change the USB mode to USB three. I wondered if it was so that yeah. something with the yeah. Okay. So I think it, it just didn't have enough bandwidth, probably. So let's let's putty back in. Where are you? Oh, okay. There you are. I was like, I had to look to see where you were. Because it should come up. What is this like? Are you still in the 2.1, or did you go back to 10 megahertz wide? I'm still at 10. I'm still oh. at 10. Female is out of the vehicle. PD is confirming no entrapment at this time. So that's what she sounds like over my XTS. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it sounds really good. I mean, yeah, it's a WAV file, but it sounds really good. Are we still on for dinner tomorrow night? Uh, uh, I have files. Ooh, it's like a directory structure with years, months. Oh, oh, I have, I have wave files. <laughs> Do you have wave and JSON files? I have wave and JSON files. They're so creamy, so smooth. I can't hear anything. I don't know. hear it. They're in a VM. Oh, I can't play them. <laughs> You gotta move it. Oh, come on. Hold on. Let me fire it back up. You can uh, sync it. Well, no, I'm watching it. I can see the wave files, but let's hear those wave files. I, I don't know if I can play them. Does, does this thing have an audio device on the VM? I don't know. I don't know. I had to, I just, S -S -S you know, SCP'd them over to my desktop. Well, now I'm synchronizing that's, that's that whole exactly folder. But that's a whole other topic. That's what I'm gonna do. What? Do you have to be root to run this? To run what? Okay, okay. She's a choochin. She's a choochin. She's a skookum choocher. Let's let's uh, turn this font down a little bit. Yeah, let's hear your first wave files. Let's see oh, how yours sound on the simulcast. I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. Do I have one SCP here? Well, shoot, this makes me work. I'm definitely going to go to Goodrich tomorrow, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Goodrich? Uh, what is that? At the good, my Goodrich tower, I have uh, an air, their big air spy, the 10 megahertz one. Yes. But the Goodrich tower is where the um, 
it's the actual simulcast site for the simulcast system. So my for equipment's one, Gen a couple Genesee racks County? over for Genesee, yeah. Oh, you probably so don't even racks. need an antenna, dude. You just put a 50 ohm dummy load on it. <laughs> uh, actually, because it's in a metal box, I do. And it's because the way the antennas are pointed, you know, they're panel antennas pointed towards the center of the county. Got so okay. I do have a little little uh, Yagi antenna on top of the cabinet. Or not Yagi, but a little, you know. But that's where all the the original issue with the scanners being, you know, not being able to decode the simulcast system, I would just put them, I put them there. And guess what? No multi-path issue because it's only here in one. Yeah. I, it's I only know, here in that site. Yeah. Let's see. I, I, I'm I'm my, myself right now. I'm like less than a mile from a tower. So it blows me away. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. Can I do root? It's going to let me root it in. Ubuntu, you piece We're of crap. Sean, it. Sean, we're hacking your system. <laughs> yeah, send him the link. And streaming it live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's set a password for Mr. Root. Okay, what time did we agree to in the Thai place? Hmm, Thai place sounds good. I'm going to have to log in as David. What system is that? Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's large and has a big letter M on it. Z is, is he in the uh, general? Yeah, he's in general on okay. FBI Slack. Oh, FBI. Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, oh, I don't even have that on here. Whatever. All right, cool. Uh, all right. So, how do I let's move these all over to? Not from the infrastructure side, are you? <laughs> I guess it depends, man. RF goes both ways. <laughs> RF goes both ways. Ooh, what's this one? Okay. Oh, so it recorded the. Okay, now that's interesting. What's that? So, the way the 800 paging works is that they generally will multi select a patch. Okay. So, it looks like when she's keying up, she keyed up on fire main and one of the paging talk groups. So that was actually using two voice paths that time. All right. But when, when she toned Flint city out, she patched the three page, the four paging talk groups together. So I saw fire main and. So do you have four different paging talk audio groups. recordings of the same audio? Nope. I have before I was just recording the paging talk groups. So even though they she multi-selected four paging talk groups earlier tonight, I only got one file. Gotcha. Okay. But this time I have it recording all files right now. So it recorded just the one fire it recorded fire main and the one paging talk group this time. So gotcha. if she multi-selects for saying like, you know, doing multiple tone outs for different departments, I'm only gonna see one. Gotcha. You know. I mean that's good, which, right? I guess that's good. I mean, otherwise you're gonna have a bunch. It is, of well, well. Here's the thing, though. So, say like you got two departments and they go automatic mutual aid. They'll they'll multi-select both departments, but I'm only gonna get the page out for one of those. Okay. So uh, say you're, so say like you're on. You have three different departments you're listening to, or signed up for. I love the custom responses they did in Slack there. Oh wait, you're not signed into it. You can't see it. Let me see. I use the web version. I don't have the app right here. Oh. Do they have my uh, YouTube video? I sent the link earlier, and I sent mine. Okay, I see. Oh, I got someone talking to this other one. 
damn scanner dweebs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? I'm going to play some silky smooth audio I want to hear this. <laughs> All right. There's a heck of a long up. Universal Alpha 7 9 priority. Universal, this is St. John. Come go ahead. This is Universal Alpha 7 9 in it's not playing through. Hold on. Let's make sure audio. Device. Oh, you want to know why? Because your desktop audio, you got to play through the same audio <sighs> you're playing me through. <laughs> Can I add another audio? I have multiples. But that's me. Oh, got another one tone. Let's see how this one shows up. Okay. Yeah, so she's keyed up on 2402, which is fire main, and 22751. Gotcha. So I'm going to get two recordings this time, but if she had other other paging talk groups patched, I would not. I'd only get the one from Davis and Richfield one. I wouldn't get the others. I'm going to switch my audio, so I'm going to lose you for a second while I... Uh... Yep. Uh, speakers. Okay. And I'm going to mute my... Attention, McComb. Attention, McComb. Universal Alpha 79 Priority 2. Universal, this is St. John McComb. Go ahead. This is Universal Alpha 79 inbound to your facility with a 21-year-old female patient. Chief complaint today is going to be uh, choking. Uh, we got the call for patient choking. Upon arrival, patient was breathing on her, on her own, crying. Um, she is currently alert and talking to us, although she states that it still feels like there's something in her throat. She did cough up quite a bit of uh, blood in that. Engine 2, squad 3 from dispatch. Van Dyke and Yacht. Van Dyke and Yacht. Unknown medical involving a black male green jacket. 16897 at 2048. Squad 3. It's going to be an assault with injury. Dude, I think the audio is excellent. I think so too. I think it, it's. it's it, blows away anything software based that I've ever done. I think it's got to be because of the op op 25. Yeah. They've they've op 25's really improved. I I haven't touched it in years. They've done some good work to it. They've done some great work. So this is going to sit here and record and fill up my hard drive now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so now what do I need to do? Get a whole bank of 5,000 set up in chargers to affiliate all the tall groups I want to record? Well, that's, that's going to be your other kicker is, you know, it's only going to record what's affiliated to the site you're on. So I'm going to have a whole, I got gang chargers. I'll just stick radios in them, leave them on the <laughs> channel. Just turn the well, volume all the way down. <laughs> if you, if your goal is to like record the whole simulcast system, it doesn't matter. Well, or, I, I mean, like to record. Well, I want to get Detroit and Macomb. I wonder if. What's well, the, then just set yeah. up a system on Detroit and yeah. leave it because then anything that's on a simulcast. So, any, you know. I wonder what, uh, what my CPU is like. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Memory's not too bad. How much Where's my mouse? Yeah, see, that's going. Interesting. So I think I'm going to let this run for a little while and come back in the morning and see what all happened. Uh, I'm going to set mine up for as a service on this box, but that's just me because I'm going to finish it up oh, yeah. and where it's synchronizing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some dedicated. So what kind of CPU are you running? Uh, it is a, you know what? It's one of those off lease boxes. Ah, you know, yeah. I got 30 of those off leases with the quads in them. Yeah. The I-5s? I think they're I-5s. Let's look here. I'm on, I'm got windows on one here. So let's see. 
I'm getting some messages. No, Air Spy, no digital recorders available. So that's when it runs out of... Um, you need to increase your yeah. digital recorders then. This needs to be 30. <laughs> wow. I well, I read, what did it say in the, the wiki? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't read it. <laughs> oh. Of course you didn't. Okay, so this is... I'm running it on an i7-2600 quad with 4 gig of RAM. And it's running at about 40% CPU, it looked like, on... Let me fire up... This one? Yeah. H top. Actually, I should watch it now that it's actually doing disk stuff. So let me watch it when it's doing disk stuff. Because it's sitting at about 40% each core right now. 30, 40% each core. Okay. So let me wait to see what happens when it actually starts recording and see how bad that hits. Well, I, I cranked it up to 30, and I'm just going to let it go. It looks like I... I don't, it, of course, there's nobody talking right now. No, right now. Because I've got Pro96 com up as well, too. The most I have... Is, you, oh. can see, you can see the recording number, and the highest I've seen it go to is 3 right now. Where is it saying that? So it's kind of in the log. It says stopping P25 recorder number, and then it's in square brackets. Oh, okay. So I think as, as more... Uh, as, as there's more... Uh, key ups at one time that number increments so if you look as well it sh every couple minutes it does an info screen and it shows that because i have four recorders on each stick it shows all the, their states right now okay. and because nobody's keyed it's not how do we put encryption keys in this <laughs> i don't think you can <laughs> wasn't that what i'm one of the op 25 wasn't that on the op 25 roadmap it's could be but I, you know, I, I'm, ha my goal was to record the paging stuff <laughs> and get, get ho off my ass. Okay, so this, 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 this has been the, the op 25 checklist since the project started. And <laughs> there's four, there's four things that have not been done yet. Oh, D those check they haven't changed those. I know. <laughs> And, and, and the last option is add trunking transmit and receive to simulclass live P25 trunking system. That would be nuts, dude. Yeah, look at the last four. Des, AES, RC4. <laughs> <laughs> Although, wait a minute. It says phase two. Oh, T, TX or RX? TX. TX. I, I can't even. RX, though? Oh, man, I scratched my leg open. If, if this thing could do TX and RX, you could set up a software-based trunking repeater. Uh, did you? What did you Is, say? I'm trying to think if it's. I was gonna say it's already doing support for newer phase two. Is already done. That's what I mean. But TX. Why would you? A, a repeater. Yeah, but still. It can, well, then it can do phase one. Then. Can it? I think it can when you use it with the. Uh, with the uh, Otis, with the you know the Edis board or whatever it was. I, I seem to remember that a long time ago. Of course, then you get it. Then what is that? How many milliwatts is only coming out of that? No, you need uh, it needs to be behind an amplifier. So I don't see any info screens. So after almost a year, I changed the battery in my phone I got from Dave three years ago. Is that TJ? Oh, yeah, he's in general. Oh, let's see. Is he watching the video? I don't know if he's watching the video or not. We could be talking about him. Uh, Slack. Oh, I got to change Slacks. Wow, we're almost up to our... We only got 20,000 messages on FBI Slack. Yeah, but that's a free one, so that's yeah. like... He's in general on semen slack. Got it, got it. Semen slack. I love that. <laughs> All right. Where's that at? Nice Where's phone, dude. What is he talking about? Nice phone. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he, he was about? watching. Is he watching your stream or my stream? I don't know. Dave's not here. Oh, quarter I saw... wave... yeah, Wait, I... where did you get quarterwavedave.com? <laughs> <laughs> so my name was uh, Radio Dave at work, and then they started calling me Quarter Wave Dave because I, I was putting quarter wave antennas on a car one day, 
and they just had tease, they just, one? They just been teasing me all the time, so I, I just roll with it, dude. Come on. What? Oh. I know. Yeah, so I sold them a Galaxy. No, not a Galaxy. I sold them a, a Google Nexus phone a the long Nexus. time ago. And, uh, yeah, he's had troubles with the batteries. So it sounds like he replaced it. And then also he's going to get a new phone. The wife dropped and cracked hers. iPhone. iPhone. We don't, iPhone. We don't mess around with Androids. Is that your prep? Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my I was prep. Hearing the audio. I'm gonna grab my prep and see if I can capture it. I'm gonna well, I, mean, I captured it on mine. I'm gonna send it to Sergeant Bush. Where's my prep at? Oh, I think it's in the car. You might lose me because I gotta go outside real quick. Shh, do not leave your radio in the car, kids. That's not a good idea. <laughs> Especially where you when you have freaking twenty encryption keys in it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Come on. Hi, little one. Yeah. All right. All right. That's how we roll. Let's send this uh send this link real quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to get with the times. Yeah, it's my checkbook, not, you know. I know. Break it out. <laughs> you know what I should? Oh, you know what? I'll tell Ho. We'll fix the paging system, but he's got to get me a new Apex radio. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do it. <laughs> He'll probably ask me for a free one. I know. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I just texted Sarge live demo if you want to tune in. Uh, what channel? We'll do SiemenCom. Yeah, because actually, I think if you do, it'll come out over here and it'll actually go up on the web server within a minute. Right. Although, will it? Yes. Okay. SiemenCom. I wonder if it's going to desense it being so close. I'll go walk away from it. Move back a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say, mine's out in the garage. But... Micon 16, test 1 2, test 1 2. Okay. What okay, is our. Let's let, me see. Go... let me refresh the web URL. Scrolled. Oh, that's full of files. Hold on. Yeah, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, there's a new file right here. Oh, yeah? Dude. <laughs> Dude. There you go. Dude. Send him that file. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A little bassy in there, too. Well, I mean, I'm on the big speakers. No, it sounds great. It sounds great. He's going to get Come. this. He's got it in his radio, so he probably heard it. Oh. Oh. He says, it's just spinning. I see your ugly mug, but hear nothing. So did I send I, the right link? I see your ugly mug. He's, he's such a nice guy. <laughs> oh, wait. Did you turn your audio back on? Let me see if I hear you. Can you hear me? Test one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello. Hello. I hear, I see your ugly mug. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, your audio is going to the stream. Okay. 
<clears throat> oh, what's that about? Let's see. It's just spinning. I see other nodes right here. I think it's the, the preview video. Oh, pre-roll. Yeah. Called ad block. Yeah, I don't know what, what what's going on with that. Ooh, what's this? Man, this is gonna be if it's stable, okay. I mean, yeah, we're running it interactive right now, but if the stability is there. Yeah. I mean, so I thought I was hoping like SDR trunk was gonna be great. So was I. This blows it away, dude. If it's stable. It blows it away. So that means we've got it running on an ASR site and it's running also on a simulcast. Yeah. So I'll need to go put what the hell are you is on here? <laughs> what the fuck? That was on the wrong screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh Share, copy oh. link. So I'm going to the YouTube app. I'm copying the link. Do I need to send it. you the the right URL for your stream? Here. I, I, I went to YouTube There's app on the my right phone. That's the viewing app or viewing link for your current feed. Oop, wife's coming into downtown right now. FTQDY. Yeah, that's just what I sent him. Okay. Hmm. I don't know, but it, it's, it's putting that in. I'm trying to see if the file form, like and what this other, these characters in the file name are besides, you know, cause you got the talk group ID number in, in decimal and then it goes dash 15. Is that Unix time right now? I wonder if it's putting it in Unix time uh, I'll tell you for that wave that. file. Yeah. Okay. Second. Start time. Stop time is in Unix. So that's in Unix time. So then it goes talk group number Unix time underscore eight fifty two dot two eight seven and the voice channel. Okay. So that's what the the URL format is. So talk group dash Unix timestamp underscore uh, voice channel frequency dot wave. So what do we do if we have multiple sites, multiple towers? Well, it doesn't show up as multiple sites. Thing. You only have one tower. Well, let's say I want to do Macomb and Detroit on the same box. Or something like so that. So you put another S I would probably do, if you have the IO bandwidth, I would do one SDR for each one. Ugh. I mean, I, the, well, the SDR has the bandwidth. It should be able to split it. I guess the only thing would be to see how the CPU handles the multiple. My only concern would be your multiple records. Yeah. You know. You just set it to 30. Well, let's see. What is your CPU doing at 30 now? Uh, this CPU is fine. Okay. It's, it's uh... And I didn't notice. I mean, I'm such a four right 25. now, but I'm going to upgrade. I should have that, but I'll up that here in a minute. It does take a bit, I guess. 20, 24%. But it's running in a VM, though, so I don't know. And I'm running native. Yeah. Are you also streaming from the same box? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this computer is doing a lot of stuff right now. It's 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 doing a lot. I was almost wondering what's the best practices for streaming. Should you have a dedicated PC just for streaming? I you well I just. So how do you capture the I desktops? Built, and you got to worry about HDMI. Yeah, well, so I built a new machine last year or last Black Friday. So, I mean. I stream game. I send my gaming when I game on it as well. Yeah, so. so that should be fine. There's a lot of files in here, man. That's going to be my only other thing is to... I like, think the other all this? you got to dump these MP3s though, right? Well, so I have a converter that'll... I mean, they have... So he converts it... What was he saying? He converts it to in his script. Every time it writes a file, he has it running a batch every file runs a script. So every time it records a file, it writes a, the script, converts it to, I think, AAC or something. Yeah, yeah. And then pushes it up to his server when you do that stuff. Okay. I'm just going to take the WAV file. Is, are you talking about the open megahertz or whatever? Yeah. Is? So that's hosted, that's not hosted on-prem? That's a, somebody else's? No, it's a cloud thing he does. But if you, oh, where was it? There was somebody that had another 
local premise one that you can set up on your own. I don't want. Yeah, I I need I need a version of this where this can be internal. Well, so here's the thing: you can it's storing those files internally. So however you want yeah, to do I something can internally, those, yeah. you can present the files how you I just, want. I like that. I like the way that thing that he made looks. I don't know if that's public or not. Trunk player is Python based. Uh, radio scanner is a good looking scanner style interface for listening to trunk recorder. What's on GitHub? What does this one look like? Okay, radio scanner. Oh, I'm holding the wife's home. This guy's kind of going after uh, radio reference. Yeah, but is he though? This is blowing. You're, you're, you know, this isn't an MP3 stream from a scanner. This is. It's an archive. And I and you can actually do custom lists. So like, since you're taking in the whole fire hose, you can sit there and say, oh, I want, oh, hold on a second. There it goes. All right, I thought I heard the wife. He says, he says right now the system will only have a five day archive. This is to help make sure things don't get overloaded and make sure we don't have a crazy bill at the end of the month. <laughs> It sounds like he's paying this out of his pocket. Well, he probably is. Yeah. Hi, cutie. Oh. What type of nachos are we having? What do you mean, what type of nachos? You said we're having nachos. Oh, nachos. we just have meat, cheese, and sour cream. I don't have any beans or beans. Do you have any beans? I don't think we do. Can't have any nachos. What about, what cheese do you have? I got shredded, um... Oh. Shredded <laughs> Can I get some more tea, please? There's no beans for the nachos. I'm sorry. Can I have another glass of tea? Or if you don't want that, what else do you want? I'm fine. Whatever you want to do. Love you. Love you. I love you too, honey. <laughs> she can't hear you. <laughs> Dave said, I love you too. Oh, I love you too, Dave. Aww. Aww. So here we go. Recorders. So I did its little summary. I'm looking at radio scanner version 1.5 screenshots. Ooh. Where are you? Copy. Dave. Send it. I just did. I was clicking your name. And then this one's Python based. I haven't looked at this one. Trump player. So, web-based SDR police scanner that uses for, this is what I need then. Yeah. So, so Sarge. Because you can put every you could put everything internally then. Thank you. Sarge is like I thought you already had one. I'm like, this is a thousand percent better. Because <laughs> I did. I I actually had um, SDR trunk SDR going. trunk doing what this is doing, dumping all talk groups to folders with files and all that stuff. Mine just kept screwing up. It yeah. would work, and then it would miss talk groups. Yes, he improved a little bit, but then more bugs came, and it would stop. It would crash after a while. Yep. Like, whatever. So. And that's the problem we're having now: is it keeps it. It just doesn't. Sometimes it'll work, and then sometimes we'll get like different. Like it's recording what it says is one talk group, but it's not. Mm. And... What is this radio scanner? Looks pretty needy. There's a scroll. Yeah, if you scroll down, I think it's got some screenshots. So is this a web web thing? Is yeah, it's a web interface for it. Right up. Do a little more Git. I've still got some energy in me. <laughs> still got some energy in me. Uh... I guess I, you know, hell, no. I'm gonna work on the paging. That's my priority. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's Why do you guys there. have paging out there? Because are we are on 800 megahertz paging? Why? Like, what's the big deal with paging? Why don't you just have a dispatch calls the guy calls the guys on their radios? We're not. We're vol it's volunteer on call. No. It isn't like you know. So they have like P25 digital pagers. Is that what they have? Yeah, the Unication G. How, how does that work? Like in buildings and stuff, in basements and stuff. Uh... See, that's, never, the, that's, VHF, the, that's where you, that's why you need VHF for that kind of stuff. I understand that, but you know, 
it doesn't it's not as sexy as you know buying all new unications at 500 bucks or 400 bucks mm-hmm. a pop and mm-hmm. then it's 1500 dollars per paging talk group for mpscs mm. well, who gets <clears> to have that all done was it the county or is it the state uh, the state's pushing it and the county's pushing it too because mm-hmm. this but that was that's already yeah this the ship left sail on that mm-hmm. at least around here mm-hmm. so it is nice with the as long as you have signal it yeah. does what, what what's nice is it'll tell you when it's in and out of signal you know your vhf paging you didn't know unless you were list in monitor motor and that someone was actually keyed up but if you go out of range with this it'll actually you know it alerts you and says hey you're out of range so you know you're not going to get a page interesting because you drop the control and because it, you it's dropping the control feedback on that yeah yep so and obviously it only works in certain places and but the, it'll actually yeah well at least you have some feedback so that is good you, you're not there sitting there scratching your head wondering if i missed a page or something correct uh, at least you'll know you missed a page what is this npm stuff is some javascript stuff node.js yeah Apache. Oh, I got to stop Apache. This might be for another day, dude. I think progress was made at least. Yeah, I, I like this, man. I'm happy. As long as I'm going to make it a service and make it stable. I want to. As long as it stays stable. Are you going to make I a think... uh, system control package for or something? Some... Already, yeah, there's already one in the examples in the GitHub repo. If you look at examples, he's already got one in there. Make make, make me a dub package that will do everything. Well, that's where you, the <laughs> Docker's for. So Docker, he's got a Docker uh, build in there too. Yeah. I don't, well, how do you get the Docker framework on your computer in the first place? That's what I don't get. You just install, you install Docker first. Yeah. Then once Docker is installed, then you can... Docker's cool, man. Yeah. We run talk- run everything inside a VM inside of a VM inside of a VM. Is that what that is? It's an actual little tiny. VM. It's like its own little the way the, the way to exp- I mean it's meant more for applications. Yeah. So you can package up the application inside that Docker and then push that to production. Right. Okay. And then say you want and then you work on it. So the idea being is the Docker should always no matter what system you run Docker on the Docker will always that It'll little always Docker thing yeah. container will always be the same. Right. No matter if you're doing dev on this machine or that machine, if you do your Docker's right, and then you know pushing Docker's up to the—that's the whole purpose for it. I mean, so the binaries aren't like tied to a specific platform like AMD or. No, nope, because that's where the do- well, so and that's where Docker comes in. You have to, you know, Docker itself is. So when you build the the the, the Docker, you have to prepackage all the compile nope. for all no. You can put in there what you want okay. and then make the Docker, you know, once Docker is installed on the server, then you just tell Docker run whatever and it'll run that pa- that container. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter if you built that container when you were on your MacBook or if you were building it on, you know, a Windows box, you can run the container anywhere. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, this is doing something. It looks pretty. It's got a little graph. <laughs> Well, it's not Docker. That's NPM. That's the yeah. package manager for Node. Yeah. That's Node's package. Node.js is package manager. Yeah, I haven't used that yet either. Uh. No, I totally forgot we had voice chat on Slack. That's why I was asking about Discord earlier. It's like, what? I didn't know we had that. Yeah, because we have the paid I even, version. I didn't even know it was a thing. We have the paid version. We can do video and everything. Interesting. Interesting. But do they have a yeah. chat plugin? So what do you one, mean? Like a room can, like I can dump the chat of a certain room to my. Uh, oh, broadcast. into your OB, into your OBS. Uh, I don't know. I didn't look at that far. A lot of guys do that, man. It's pretty nifty. Yeah, but they use Discord or something else yeah, to post. I think it's all because like, there's plugins for those. I think it's mostly Discord. But Slack lets us do voice chat and video chat, and it'll do group as well. So, because yeah. we have the paid version of Slack. We have the paid version. We're not, well, it's 501c3, but yeah. How much is this? Oh, I'm not going to ask. 
How much does Slack cost? Yeah. Nothing, because it's five hundred one c three. So it's free for nonprofits. Nonprofits you... approved five hundred one c three nonprofits get Slack paid for free, hmm. up to two hundred and fifty users. We have it at work, and nobody is engaged with it at all. There's like seven thousand different channels, and no, like the last messages are all from like three years ago. <laughs> Nobody's using it. Yeah, so we, we all the departments do their own little thing, text message groups. I got a telegram group going and all that stuff. It's stupid, man. Uh, so Node.js is good. Let's try doing this NPM again. What are you missing? Make sure the latest version of Node.js and NPM is full. You do is most of the problem with your B package up and pin it so PM is there. I don't know how to verify now that JS is installed. Is there any simple how to's? Is this the dork chat nerd? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who said that? Oh, was that in the in the YouTube chat? Yeah. Yes, that's why you're here. Uh... So it looks like they have their own upload script. Upload.sh. Yep. And you add it to like where is it? I'm trying to remember where it was. Example. It's in the conf JSON config. You can you add the you know, you tell it what script you want to run afterwards type of deal, but you put it in the config JSON. I haven't got I haven't got that far. Hmm. Hmm. It looks like he uses curl to push it to the API. Looks pretty clean. Why doesn't it work though? Because you don't have an API key from him? It's in the, it's in the upload file. Oh, you're doing it your own local no, one. I'm just trying to get the th damn thing installed. Skipping. Failed optional dependency FS events. Like a with the operating system or architecture. You're having mm. something fail. I, this is like foreign language to me. I mean, I'm usually pretty good at reading these things. But... The node, there's something that's dependent. One of your dependencies isn't working inside a node. Yeah. JS and I'm not a node JS guy. I I for this format, man. Maybe I need this meteor thing, I don't even know. Meteor. Please follow the Meteor Guide for custom deployment. Oh, Lord. What is this Meteor? Is this like framework for? I'm sure it has to be some sort of web. When you start yeah. going down the web web train, yeah. that's all. It's another freaking rabbit hole, dude. I don't even know if I want to do this. I mean, it looks cool, right? It's got little buttons and stuff for talk groups. Yep. I mean, it looks almost like a dispatch console, doesn't it? I know, right? Where you can multi-select or unselect Dude, I what want, you want to hear. I want to see this. I want to make see your work. Uh, Download. Download evaluation version. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can time. install this here. Hey, Sam. 
Radio scanner, how to... Come on, download, you little bastard. <sighs> I wonder <clears throat> if that's going to go... Ooh, another page! Another page! Sweet. Now I really got to get the alert page or the email script going. All right. She's keyed up on Engine 31's talk group for paging and fire main. But no patch. Okay. All right. So using two talk paths right now, one on 800, one on 700. Hmm. <laughs> so that would have been talk group number affiliation log. No, uh, channel grant trace. That was 22755. So let's go over to the web server 22755. Oh. <gasps> 2128, there's a new file, wave file, play. <gasps> That's another thing they do, at least Genesee County does. Mm -hmm. They'll dead key on it for a few seconds. <laughs> That's play to them. Well, it's nice so that the one of the issues we had was it would miss the, if they would start talking too quick, it wouldn't miss open the, quick. Miss You'd the miss the syllable. first part, first couple syllables. So yeah. the problem that I've noticed on the current way I'm doing it, which is basically with a scanner and art Vox recording and everything, is the AGC will kick up. Hmm. So you, it's when you start listening to it. Well, I can. Where is it? Let's see if this will actually show. Yeah. Well, maybe it won't show it in that one. Yeah. So you can hear the AGC coming up before she starts talking yeah. kind of deal. <laughs> Gotta have our trucker buddies, right? <laughs> trucker buddies. <laughs> I got our FBI repeater up. Yeah, you got it on a, on a little. Uh, no, node? I put a re I put Sean's repeater, fix Sean's repeater up up on the big hill, so it's actually <laughs> up on a. <laughs> There's actually a node around town I can use. What uh? What frequency are you on over there? Four four three two hundred. Oh my god. That's crazy. Yeah, I get Sean's repeater fixed and I put it right on Sean's repeater so it's in the hub all the time. Nice. I still have the simplex at the house on our simplex stuff, but why is this not working? Let's see. I'm definitely gonna have to get this going to email, set the service up. Radio to Engine 31, the alarm Oh, they're going to cancel your Cadillac Street. There was a fire today by uh, behind me, one street over. Hmm. Actual house caught on fire. They came and they cut a hole in the in the roof. Well, they vented, they ventilated, they ventilated it. it. Yeah, to blow all the smoke out. I'm like, man, that's cool. We don't get a lot of that stuff around here. Hmm. <laughs> There's no optional. It didn't work. I wonder if when I do the restore, though, is this thing going to bitch about me not having. Hmm. Blank that out. 
bet you this is going to bitch that I don't have. What? Uh, I have the backup file, but it was on a demo key the, when I was backing it up from. I'm installing the program on a new computer because I have to uh, certain, you know, on a new Windows VM. What is it tied to? I don't know. I mean, I don't mind paying for it kind of deal, but I'm wondering... Four is way too early for me. Well, I'm an old person. I like to eat dinner. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, should I be root? I don't know what this thing is trying to do. Yeah, we're going to try this again as root. This PC... Alert, paste, copy those folders. Oh, turn this back up. What talk group are your fire pages in? Oh, like two, two. I don't think you. They're they're not. You're not gonna get them down there. You don't think they'll affiliate? Oh, they won't let, unless you're authorized. They're not gonna let you affiliate. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might look a little suspicious. Yeah. So what? So does all those pages need their own separate radio ID? No. Do you mean talk group ID? No, I mean like a radio ID. Like they transmit and affiliate nope. on the system, right? No, they don't. They don't affiliate? They don't affiliate. The paid, the unications do they not just affiliate. They passively monitor the control. Yep. Yep. Unications are just like a fancy scanner. And actually, it's really good. I mean, for simulcast and everything, it's great. Interesting. Interesting. <sighs> So, can I start this program up and have it import? Uh, where do we leave off here? Focus, focus. Uh, Check for updates. No. Start. Error. Meteor not found. Hmm. So we need this Meteor framework. How do we install that? Dude, this is... This looks like a wormhole, man. Uh, well, this whole hobby is a wormhole. I mean, this is not something I like doing. I mean, there's guys that can do this with like no problem. This I'd be struggling. Select the task to restore from backup all of them. Ooh, it did it. How? Really? It restored all the. I got 30 days of evaluation. Hot damn. <laughs> okay. Well, now I got to configure the mail settings so that this can send email. I guess I better look up how I did it on the other computer. Match the outbound mail settings. Because it doesn't look like that. Yeah, the mail settings didn't restore, which is no biggie. And the file, I'm going to have to change the file format for the file names anyways, because on the mover, yep, I'm going to have to change the masks to show a different file mask. That's not That's not a big deal. OK. So let's get sync back. All right, this I can get this probably set up now, and this will start pushing these out to the email into Twitter, and actually show what department they're decoding. Mm. Ah, ah.
So I'm trying to install this meteor thing. Let's we'll see. What do I need? What package do I need? I wish it would just tell you what package you need. I don't see Meteor anywhere. You know, I probably trying to think if Ho can install Ubuntu server on that box up there. <laughs> sure. You just got to walk him through it. He should be all right. I'm going to drive. I'm going to go to, to. How far is it? It's us up in Saginaw. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, it's in Saginaw and it's, he did put it. He, we put it at a site near one of the simulcast sites. Okay. So that one's there. The Genesee one I have in Goodrich. So I'm going to go to Goodrich tomorrow because all my meetings for tomorrow got pushed to Wednesday now. Gotcha. So I actually can do that tomorrow. But I can start working on it tonight. Do the email part and have it to start synchronizing the email. Well, I'm downloading Meteor. That was easy. Check in my mail. I wonder how much uh, audio files I have so far. Things still going. Still going on on a virtual machine. I'm pretty happy with that. I have 53 megs worth of wave files already. <laughs> I have 5.6 megs? How much do you have? 53. How long has it been running? Mm, I don't know. Since we started talking here? No, no. Not that long. When did I switch it over? Oh, after I got the web server synchronizing, I switched it over to record everything. Hmm. I guess it's just not that busy over here. It's this thing should record every talk group, right? Did you set it to on? Um, yeah, it's recording yeah. everyone. I can look right there. Yeah. It's just not that busy, I guess. Well, and you've got a bit of encry encryption. Look at your watch your scroll. Yeah. Yeah, we need to fix that. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about that on an open stream. I wonder who's encrypted on my. Uh... It tells you, look right there. It'll show you oh, encrypted yeah, in the Docker number. Let's 2747. See. Who is that? 2747 is 74 drug. So St. Clair drug, drug. Um, yeah, it's, it should be encrypted. Do I have that? St. Clair drug? <laughs> I don't think so. St. Clair County, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, 74 St. Clair. Let's see what else we got going on. It looks like it's busy. I mean, 2747, 20, it keeps popping up. So they're, they're doing yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the status. You've got 30 recorders set. Yeah, fuck it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I want it all. Wait till, wait, till I, wait till I roll this up on Detroit, dude. It's going to go nuts. I wonder about Disk I.O. Not recording encrypted, 2747. If I key up right next to it, that kind of that kind of kills it. Mm -hmm. 
can be true. I was going to say, your radio probably is going over to Detroit anyways. Well, some of the talk groups, I, I set it up to go over there. A lot of these should roam, like this one. Yeah. 22804, I wonder what that is. Which one was it? 22804. <laughs> uh... Oh, <dick. laughs> What's 2747? Is that the same guys? Yeah, those are the same guys. Yeah. Oh, I know where you're at. You're over here. Connie Wade Narcotics. Of course, that's probably, it's nothing's affiliated. Now it is. Radio service test. There you go. There's. Hit it again. It's that one. All right, going back to 22803. I wonder if I can log, log events, affiliation events. That I use Pro96.com for. Yeah, but you need hardware for that, right? Well, I just use a scan, one of my old, old scanner, and then the serial output from that. I just, I have it run on. Yeah, I'd like to set up something so when a certain person turns on their radio, I get a page or a text or something. I don't know if it'll do that, but it'll, you know. <clears throat> yep, I got a bunch of recorders. All right, let's uh, let's go back to my meteor install. All right, it's installed. Let's go back to our, where were we at? Radio scanner. And what was our command to build this thing? No, no, I had too many windows open. I'll tell us these guys already got it. Disregard. What was the issue? Oh, it was a VM. Oh, did someone respond in there? Uh, no, nobody did. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Disregard. My VM sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So is the air the air spy mini was that USB three or was that USB two? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember now, because I know the regular air spy was I thought USB three. I think every I mean this it's a relatively new device I'd imagine it's three. Where is my air spy? I don't know what to do with that thing. Because that's the thing I the only difference I think out in Goodrich right now is I'm I've got a regular air spy there versus the air spy minis that are in the garage right now. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, it should work, I would imagine. Um, oh, somebody just said they just saw my butt crack. Okay, all right. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> this might be a R-rated. It might get demonetized or something. Demon are you monetizing this? <laughs> I don't know. Dude. Uh, so where did my instructions for this program go? Radio scanner, uh, NPM start. Oh, legs falling asleep. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get dinner ready. Yeah, I'm oh. thinking the same thing. Failed to start, meteor run, settings parameter. Make sure you least there's none, just uh, more none. All right, guys, I think we've made a lot of good progress today. Uh, I want to thank all of you for watching. Um, we have a really nice piece of software here to work with to uh, record and archive and possibly stream uh, trunked radio transmissions. So uh, 
something I've been trying to get set up for a long time. We we tried setting up before with uh, SDR trunk. It just never really worked that well. I actually had SDR trunk stream into radio reference for a while. And uh, people complained that it sounded like crap. And I argued with them, but they were right. It sounded like crap. Compared to this, it sounds yeah. like poo poo. It sounds like a big, big, big pile of doggy poop. So, mm, doggy poop. But yeah. I'd be curious if we could reassemble these wave files and create a audio stream. You can. I audio sent you a link. To create an actual stream? Yep. I sent you a link in there. We look in the scanner chat. Shows you how to do it. <laughs> Trunk. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, before my, where was it? Um, it's a private message. No, it was up further, up at the seven fifteen mark. Streaming trunk recorder with liquid soap. Oh, I haven't tried that, but you know, that's kind of the, the premise. Ready reference wiki. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. How does this work? So these guys are so the trunk player. What? Yeah. All right. So there's a lot of stuff we can do with this. So. Uh, but like you said, it's getting late, so I think I'm going to shut her down. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching and uh, all the support. So thanks, Fred. I appreciate it, man. You, uh, We kicked some ass tonight. All right. All right, man. Later. Later.